So this is a wiring schematic of a typical car with CAN communication. These two wires go to a bunch of different computers that need to talk to each other at all times. This is called the bus line. If you have a code for a short at the ground on this line or a short to power, um, you need to uh, connect to this line through the DLC connector and check the condition of this bus. Um, you can practice on good cars to see what a known good system looks like. And if you would have a short to ground or a short to power, you would disconnect one computer at a time and watch the bus line to see if it comes back to normal. Uh, and keep doing it until you find exactly where the problem you're having exists. And uh, that's the easiest way to do it. This is an automotive breakout box. These things come in every shape, size, and dollar amount you can imagine. And all it is is just an extension cord to a DLC Terminal 3. Um, you know, you can make one of these for free, grabbing an old extension cord from a scan tool or an emission machine or something that connects to the DL3 connector. Uh, these things are a dime a dozen. If you want to check the CAN communication, you need to connect to CAN high and CAN low. That's 6 and 14. Um, and then this... Those two lines go to every computer you can imagine. I just grabbed one of these uh, connectors uh, that you see here and I cut the end off, one end off, and then I uh, expose the wires and just tag each one. It's as simple as that. And then I test it with a scope to see what's going on. Here you can see I plugged in the scope on six and 14 and just look at the scope and see what you got here it is on the workbench I just cut this terminal this wire off as a whole expose each wire labeled each one there's terminal 5 there's terminal 4 there's 14 all right plug this part into the car plugging your scope in your can high and your can low 6 and 14 and there you have it Try get these wires, we get these wires laying around all the time. Alright. This is what a good communication bus line looks like. This is the poor man's breakout box. Connected to DLC 3. Terminals four, or I'm sorry, six and fourteen, and to the ground five. This is over a twenty second um, sweep. See how it's mirroring each other. That's what you want to see. That's a lot of communication going on right now. Now I'll shut the key off. And watch what happens. Keys off.
starting to settle right around two. There's one. I take the key out of the ignition. Goes back up to like almost uh, almost two. If I use the remote. Push the button here. The unlock. That's the unlock. Hit the unlock again. It's communicating something. We're back down to zero. So it's asleep. So let's hit the lock button. Or the unlock button again. Woke it back up. Went back down. All right. So let's put the key in the ignition. Just gonna slide it in, not turn it, just slide it in. Woke it up. Let's just turn it on to accessory. That's accessory. Not mirroring e each other now, it's doing the same thing. When one goes up, the other goes up. Sometimes there it, it didn't do it. There it didn't do it either. Let's try starting the car, or let's try putting it on. Here's on. Now look at it, it's mirroring each other now. And they're both talking. Shut it back. Turn it to accessory again. That's the accessory. Back on again. And let's start it. Videos again. All right, and I got this with my homemade breakout box. Just grab one of these old cords, cut the end off, tag each wire, each terminal, put them in a solderless, solderless terminal, mark them, and then just tap into whatever wire you want. That's how the poor man does it.
If you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.